Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at the mighty Metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycles, seller of new and used Royal Enfields, Triumphs, and vintage motorcycles of all type. Oh, but this is what we're here to look at today. Check this hot rod out. We've seen this bike a couple times already before. I just love everything about it. I love the red. I love the graphics. I love the pipe, AEW Hunter Pipe. Just a gorgeous add-on. And we're going to take it for a run. That's why we're here. We're going to see what that thing sounds like, see how it performs, see what difference it makes. This Hunter has had a uh, set of engine guards added at the bottom, had this little windscreen added at the top. That's it. I just love the way it looks. I love the lines. Uh, let's go through the specs right quick. 349cc single overhead cam, 9.5 to 1 compression. And of course, it's got the wonderful Royal Enfield 5-speed transmission. Now look at the linkage on this one. The pegs are back farther. Anyway, kind of a nifty little thing there, isn't it? I just love the little details there. This particular motorcycle weighs 399 pounds with a full tank of fuel. It's 181 kilograms. Has a 3.5 gallon gas tank. That's about 13 liters. 3.5 gallons, you're getting 60, 70 miles a gallon. It's a pretty good range. Ground clearance, 5.9 inches, which is about 150 millimeters. Now this is the lowest of all of them. And uh, the interesting thing about that ground clearance, if you notice the frame stops here, and picks up again here. So under the, under the engine, other than this exhaust pipe, there is no frame. That's the lowest point, really. Let's get a good look at it here. And uh, so that means the engine is sitting lower in the lower in the uh, chassis, and the center of gravity is much lower on this particular motorcycle. Seat height is 31.1 inches at 790 millimeters, and the wheelbase 53.9 inches. That's 1,370 millimeters. That's the shortest of the wheelbase. The rotor on the front is a 300 millimeter fixed disc ABS dual pod vibrary, and the rear is a 270 millimeter single pod vibrary. Tires on this little smoker, 180 17s on the front, and on the rear it's a 140 70 17. And look at that tire. Isn't that just a neat looking tire? Very aggressive looking to my eye. Forks are 41 millimeter. Travel on the front is 5.1 inches. I like the fact that the forks are covered. They should always be covered, I, be I believe. Uh, 5.1 inches is 130 millimeters. And the rear is supposed to be about four inches, which is 102 millimeters. So what's important about this, uh, just quickly, we like I said, we've seen these before. I love the grips on these. I love the uh, levers on these, particularly on this one. Very good looking bike. This, I love this whole area right here. I love this line. Look at this. It flows in, comes around, back around this way. Just gorgeous, you know. Just kind of a nifty thing like that, you know. Beautiful. And I love the way they've done the side cover right here. Just really well done. I took one of these on a 100 mile ride. They had a pipe on it like this, different seat on it, and they put some knee pads on it. And it was really a lot of fun. I just had a black. I think I think they called that one the uh, White Lightning. Enough talk. Let's go for a ride. Wahoo. I feel like a jet fighter pilot hopping on top of this thing. Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love that pipe. AEW pipe. AEW Hunter pipe. Let's listen to that. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Okay, quick, the gauge. It has got an analog speedometer on the outside, a digital fuel gauge right there. It's got a gear indicator. It says zero right now, a clock. And down here's the odometer, trip one, or trip A in this case, and trip B. Isn't that amazing? Just a gorgeous looking thing. ABS light, neutral light. I think there's uh well anyway, of course just gorgeous. Let's see what this thing does, okay? Wahoo! Oh, these things handle like a dream. <laughs> that is the key thing. The three Royal Enfield 350s, this is the handling motorcycle for sure. That's what I would say. This is the one that uh, is the most sporty. I mean, look at this. It's got the shortest wheelbase, uh, 1,370 millimeters. I can't remember what that is. Wow, that is a good sound. Awesome sound. Let's do the spin test right now. We're gonna cut it tight. Look at this, huh? I've done this several times on this bike. I love it. And I just, I'm always amazed at how well this does. All the 350s do great, but this one really does well. <laughs> Another rider. Hey, that was a 350 classic military model. I love that pipe. AEW pipe. Baxter Cycle is the exclusive dealer in the United States for that. I love
love the mighty mini tropolis in the morning how's that sound huh look at this just spin around oh i love the clutch on these not only is the clutch good but the clutch lever itself is excellent you know, I mean, it's just a dream to ride this bike. Seating position on this motorcycle is you're leaning. Okay, your feet are, it looks like about halfway between your buttocks and your knees. There's an acute angle with your knee right here. But I've got a 30 inch inseam, five foot eight. And I wouldn't say it was tight, but it's kind of, it's getting there. The uh, handlebars are forward and down. You do, you do definitely have to reach for them. Of all the bikes, this is the one where you sit the most aggressively. You lean forward on it. And I think that gives it that sporty feeling and uh, a little bit of sporty handling. That pipe is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to rile the locals, aren't I? Let's do the spin test here on the hill. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Holy moly. This is the tightest turning one so far, guys. Tightest turning of all of them. If you're ever in Marnie, get yourself over here to the derailed grill. You get some good eats out of that place. I love the sound. You know, this thing has got plenty of power. Plenty of power for this kind of riding. Town riding, this thing is a real winner. I did take one of these on a 100 mile ride one day and I just fell in love with it. It was so much fun. If you enjoy the tactile experience of riding a motorcycle, shifting gears, going through the you know, power band, doing all those kind of things, this is a bike you will absolutely, it'll thrill you to the bone. It's just a, an amazing machine. Absolutely amazing machine. Moving this thing around, that, this is kind of a neat thing too. Uh, the thing about my classic that really gets me, and it's the same thing with this bike, is how easy it is to move around in the garage. The garage, the parking lot, it's just so friendly and well behaved. And then you, from there, when you pick up speed, you know, you pull away, you're, you're driving around town. It, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal. And of course, this is a little more sporty than my, uh, hey, the roads are a little wet here. Let's be careful. Then my classic, quite a bit more sporty, actually, more aggressive seating. And then on the highway, and I told you I took one of these 100 mile ride. It was just a dream, you know, just a dream. <laughs> yeah, I got to get back. We're going to have the whole neighborhood uh, screaming at us. Just a screaming, just a screaming. Of course, we can't just do a normal, you know, we got to do a spin test, right? Because uh, what's life without spinning a motorcycle around in a circle? It really has good sound. And the torque is awesome. I really do think it does add a little bit. It certainly adds excitement. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, I love it. I just love it. You know, and Baxter Cycle has all the accessories for this stuff in stock. Mufflers, this AEW exhaust, the uh, air, everything you can imagine, windscreens. They're putting bar and mirrors on this yet today. They're gonna put a skid plate on the bottom. Uh, this already has the exhaust. I think we mentioned that already and the fly screen. Just quite a machine. Uh, BaxterCycle.com if you're interested in any of those things. If you're interested in a motorcycle like this, a brand new or used Royal Enfield Triumph vintage bike of any type, get yourself down here to Marnie, Iowa. The mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle. They can help you out. Ask for that guy right there in the orange shirt, Jeremy, or Mark, or Randy, or Amanda, and they will take good care of you. Tell them that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if it's nice where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo! I love it.